Hello. Is he alright? There's a bright light down here, so you know my phone. You can tell they're from Sheffield. Anyway. We got any emails in from Sheffield? Lovely. Who's not from Sheffield? Ah, you bastards. It's, I like Sheffield though, it's nice. You know, I get people coming from all over. You meet all people, like people from London, people from everywhere. And there's one thing that I've noticed. Uh, it's something I like to call the bread cake dilemma. Yeah, everyone's had this argument with their friends from Yorkshire. I was in the shop the other day with my mate. We were getting some stuff for his lunch. And I said, oh, should we get some bread cakes? He looked at me like I'd whipped down my pants and done a helicopter. He didn't have a clue. You want me? Bread cakes. Oh no, you've been a roll. No, I need a bread cake. No, nah, mate, that's a roll. No, it's a bread cake. Other man comes around the corner. Oh no, it's a cow. No, it's a bread cake. Stood there. It's a bread cake. It's a cow. It's a roll. Cow. Bread cake. Cow. Roll. Cow. Bread cake. Cow. Roll. Other man comes around the corner. Now nah, it's a barn cake. You know what? Here's some always making a bastard sandwich. I like to travel though. I like different accents. And this people thing that I've noticed when I'm travelling is people don't know how to get on trains. They just sort of crowd around the doors like vultures. It's a train, just chill out. And there's always that one knob who comes out of nowhere. Sorry, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Squeezes past everyone queuing. Everyone getting up. Where's he going? Why is he rushing? It's a train, it's not fucking rainbow. It's kind of <laughs> uh, yeah, as I've said, I like to travel. I went to Germany recently. Have anyone ever been? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice place, it's strange. But nice. We were in Cologne, and there was a, there was a McDonald's, you know, the American embassy, they're everywhere. And, uh, <laughs> but next door to it, there was a McFit. There was a gym. Next to the McDonald's. So sort it of defeats the point, they just needed a cholesterol clinic halfway down the road. They'd have been fine. It's mental in Germany. Have you, have you heard of the Autobahn over there, the motorway? There's no speed limit. It's crazy. You need eyes on your arsehole to drive over there. We were going 100 miles an hour in the centre lane. Some old woman comes flying past in a Skoda. She couldn't even see over the steering wheel. Speeding past in a Skoda. You must have left the heat in on or something. <laughs> you, ever, you ever do that? You ever leave the house and think, oh, did I lock the door? It's like you have a need to attack from your door to the road. I've been halfway down the road before I thought, did I lock the door? <laughs> now go all it's always locked. You always, always locked it. And I do things when I leave places, like, well, you've got to make sure you've got everything. I need to do this sort of awkward macarena. Oh, I got my cards and my phone in my wallet. Right, I've got my hat and my scarf. Let's get on it. Where, where's my keys? They're not in my pocket. Shit! In the taxi. <laughs> I was in a taxi the other night coming back from a night out. And uh, have you ever seen those bollards that look like kids? Yes. <laughs> they're the scariest thing in the world. If they're supposed to reduce your chance of having an accident. If anything, they increase them. Going down the road, you see them staring at you like a demon at the side of the road. My first thought is, they, you know, that looks like a kid. We better slow down. Second thought, what kind of parent has the kids play out till this time? I love kids though. Not in an Operation Utery kind of way, but I love kids. And then, uh, did anyone ever have those reins when you were a kid? Your parents walk you like a dog. I've seen a lot more of them now, and I'm concerned that it's going to become like a fashion thing. So you're going to see like all the posh people in London walking their kids like dogs. Oh, darling, I love your child. Where's he from? Oh, he's from Nigeria. Fall collection. Uh, they're the kind of people that really get on my nerves. But the main place for people getting on your nerves now is uh, is Facebook. Yeah, and uh, there's a there's a few people on there. The ones I've noticed a lot recently is new mums. Always posting pictures of their baby. Four o'clock in the morning. Oh, my little princess can't sleep. It doesn't sound like a princess to me. It sounds like a shitting and pissing alarm clock that you can't turn off. And if it's crying in early hours of the morning, 
Come and see my frog with it, don't push it down. <laughs> I'm going to bring Mother of the Year award. <laughs> and this, oh god, this is the, uh, the gym addicts as well yeah. on Facebook. They're the most annoying people. It's like they can't have a worthwhile workout without posting about it on Facebook. So you'll scroll down your newsfeed, see one of these guys in the gym. Getting, uh, getting hench for summer, lifting weights in the gym, dench. <laughs> Mate, just calm down, right? I've had a worthwhile workout myself, right? I just had a cup of tea and a wank, but you don't see me shot about it. Right, thank you very much.